You all asked for it. Well, at least one of you asked for it. And here's the long-awaited part three of my Pico-based numpad series. This video, we are going to add layers using KMK um, to this number pad. And as a bonus, I made a new base plate for it. First thing, real quick, I have added an updated base plate to the printables uh, webpage for this. The new base plate holds the Pico in place so that you can plug and unplug the cord without taking the whole thing apart. It's pretty slick if you ask me. Okay, on to the reason you're probably here, the code. So if you've been following along, um, you probably have a functioning number pad, and that's all cool and good, but what if you want to double the number of keys? It's got 20 keys, and what about 40? 60? How about even 80 keys? Okay, 80 is probably too many. Let's just set our sights on 40 for now, and once you see how it's done, I think you'll be able to go really crazy. On the screen now is the code we ended with last time, or I ended with last time. Go check out the previous video for a refresher on this if you need it. Also, all of what I do in this video will be in an instructable that is linked below. But let's get on to actually adding some layers to this keyboard. So first things first, I'm going to go and so, and we are going to do another import. So from kmk dot modules dot layers import layers this line itself doesn't do anything but it does make the layers module accessible to us now we need to keep tell the keyboard to actually use layers so i'm going to go down below with the diode orientation line and i am going to add the line keyboard dot modules dot append layers with a bunch of parentheses just look at the screen just like that this should tell our keyboard that it should use the layers module and it knows what to do with that i don't so now we can go ahead and actually create the second layer so i'm going to go down into my key map and just to make things a little bit more straightforward and a little bit easier to use I am going to add a little comment here. And so in Python, we can add comments by just adding a hashtag that tells the computer to, or the code to ignore the rest of that line. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm just going to name it layer zero. And then I'm going to put a brief description of what this layer is. And it is the base layer. So there we go. Now we have one layer, layer zero, our base layer. That's neat. Let's add a second layer. So first things first, I'm going to add a comma after this one. And then I'm going to select everything of layer one, control C, um, go to a new line, not there. Go down here and control V. This is layer two. Well, layer one because array start at zero. Uh, but real quickly, I'm just going to rename this layer one. And I want this to mimic the buttons that are on an actual numpad. If you have a 100% keyboard in front of you, you can look on your number pad and probably it will have the arrow keys as well as home and page up and page down. Those are the buttons I want on my first layer. So I'm going to name this layer nav for navigation. Before I go ahead and start making any modifications to this layer, I'm going to add a few helper keys. And I'm going to do that up here above the key map. These helper keys are basically just shortcuts to other key codes that make it easier so we don't have to type out a bunch of stuff and increase our chances for errors. So the first one I'm going to make is called trans. And this is going to be Casey dot T R N S and that stands for transparent. Well, this one will create a transparent key or basically a blank key. This means that if you were to put a transparent key on say layer one, that key would be blank. And if you were to press that key on layer one, you would press basically through that key to layer zero. I have a little analog that I think will help make this more obvious. So this is layer zero or essentially an analog of what 
the numpad is accessible as currently with our code. So if we want to add a second layer, essentially what that's doing is creating a copy of what's there. And we can replace these actual keys with anything we want. So this is layer zero, which has all of the keys that we can access on the base layer. This is layer one, which I've just made all the same keys for simplicity. Now, let's say I take this key, this A, and I replace it with a transparent key. Essentially, what a transparent key is, is me removing that key. So now, if we activate layer one, essentially what we're doing is laying layer one over layer zero. And you can see with this transparent key, we still have the letter from the base layer accessible from layer one with that transparent key. The next helper key I'm going to create is called raise. And I'm going to use a something from the layers module, which is kc.mo1. What this does is it momentarily activates layer one. So when we press the raise key, we will activate layer one until we release that key. It's basically like holding shift and pressing a letter to get a capital letter. Now we can go through and modify the layer uh, one key map so that uh, it actually does what we want. It doesn't just do the same thing as layer one or the base layer, because then why bother? So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will be right back. I have modified the layout so that we have our nine navigation keys here in the center. There are a few other on a standard numpad, but I don't really need those, so I'm ignoring them. Again, I will link a document with all of the key codes that you can use in the description, as well as the documentation for KMK, so that you can reference that at any time. I found it very useful. That's how I've learned all of this stuff. So you'll notice that I haven't actually used my second helper key yet, that raise key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to layer zero, our base layer, and I don't actually want this A here. That's been a placeholder this whole time. It's been an elaborate... It's an urban legend that never happened. I fooled you. So I'm going to actually put the raise key right here. Now, when I hit the top left key, I will be able to access all of those navigation keys. That's really what I wanted to do the whole time. So you can add more layers in this way. The biggest issue I find with adding more layers is finding where to put the layer shift buttons, basically. Um, on this one, I would probably start swapping out the buttons along the top row and then go from there. But let's say you don't want to have a momentary shift. Let's say you want to have a activation and then it stays on that layer until you change it back. I'm going to show you a couple other key codes that you could add that would make this very doable. So I'm going to redefine this raise key. And I am going to put instead of kc.mo, kc.df. Again, one. This changes the base layer basically to the layer you tell it to. So if we press raise now, we set our base layer to layer one instead of layer zero. And it stays that way until we either restart the keyboard or tell it to change the default layer back to zero. So I'm going to create another helper code called base. And it's going to be the same thing, except it's going to set the default layer back to zero. This will allow you to basically have a latch. So you press that button, it shifts between layers zero and one, and it stays on that layer until you press the button and it goes back. But let's say I don't want to do this either. 
I'm going to go ahead and comment this out so you can uncomment exactly what you want. And I'm going to define what I want. So I'm going to make another one called raise. And I am using raise specifically so that I don't have to go and change my key maps. I don't have to define this in my key map. It's all up here at the top where it's really easy to access and really easy to edit. And I'm going to use another one, kc dot lt. And I'm going to define two things, the number one, and then kc dot a. Let's say you do want that a on your base layer. What this key code will do is it will essentially say, if this key is held, activate layer one. If this key is just tapped, so you just tap it and release it really quick, send the key code A. And that's pretty much it. There are several other things you can define with this one. Check out the documentation for that. But this is what I am going to set as mine. So my raise key will shift layers if I hold it, and it will just send A if I just tap it. So let's go ahead and save, control S. And I'm going to make a new document here. OK, there we go. I have fixed it, re-uploaded it, saved it. It is running now. I'm going to go ahead and now that I have, uh, let's make a few lines of numbers just for fun. Uh, so we actually have something to navigate around. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap that key, the top left one in the key, key combo. And it does say A. So now I'm going to go ahead and hold it. And we can move around. So let's go page down. There we go. Page up. Uh, move to the right. Move to the left. Move down. Move up. And if I let go of that key, more, more numbers. This is essentially how to make new layers. I think you should like this video. I think you should subscribe to my channel. And I think that you should make sure you're staying hydrated. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.